the peacock strategy what is it and how can you use it to grow your contracting business that's what we're talking about in this video this strategy is about showing off your expertise to your target clients so let me give you an example of this working in the real world if you think about a peacock when it opens its feathers it's almost like like it's saying look at me you can't help but see it even if you don't want to the main reason a peacock opens its feathers is to attract a mate and that's why it's called the peacock strategy because you are trying to be seen and attract very specific clients so back around the year 2000 we started targeting a new location in our business but the problem was we only had a couple of clients in that area at that time we were trying to get on the radar of a few bigger clients but they didn't know who we were so it was difficult the issue when people don't know who you are is that you don't know you don't have any trust with them they don't know you if if you they don't know if you can deliver what they need so normally they just forget you until they can see some kind of evidence that you can deliver what they need so this this is when we use a peacock strategy with both our clients in that area we had a couple of fairly high profile contracts with them and when i say they were high profile i mean they, they were visually very central to the area so the first was a housing association we were renovating a whole street of flats it wasn't really a big contract but it lasted quite a few months and there was lots of scaffolding around the buildings plus we had vans very visual parked outside the flats and, and again this was right in the middle of the town so everyone basically had to drive past these flats to go anywhere straight after that contract ended our other client in the area started a much bigger contract renovating a large hotel and again this was right in the center of the town it was it was quite a landmark building it was almost next door to the first contract it was the, the biggest hotel in the area and literally everyone knew about it so for about nine months we had lots of staff and vans all parked outside this project we had vans driving around the area at night and weekends because staff were living there and what this did was it showed our target clients what we could do in terms of the, the size of project we could take on so as that contract was coming to an end we actually started to get inquiries from other new clients in the area that was really the catapult that grew that area for us it gave us the credibility for these other clients to show that we could deliver what they needed so if you decide to use this strategy the key is to understand how your target clients after you're on their radar how they might be able to see your expertise and your capability it's about you being that peacock apart from doing what we did i mean that was 20 years ago before the time of the internet and social media we had to do everything the old-fashioned way so how can you use this strategy to grow your contracting business but using this strategy could mean doing anything that lets your target clients see exactly what you're doing and that basically means showing them how you helped other people and other companies just like them so you can use all types of media to do that creating case studies promoting your clients on social media recording a video with them you need to show that connection with them but there's a couple of key steps you have to follow you have to show similar clients and similar projects to those that you're targeting you have to show the capacity to deliver what they need and you have to sh show that you can deliver the outcome that they're looking for by showing you've already delivered the outcome for other similar clients let's look deeper at those three steps first you have to show similar clients or projects to those you're targeting so if you're targeting let's say it companies that employ between 10 and 50 staff well the first thing to do is have an it company with between 10 and 50 staff as an existing client when you've got that you then tell the world about it the second step you have to show the capacity to deliver what they need so what does that it company need it might be an introduction to someone it might be new clients it might be new staff what what is the problem that you're solving for them when you know that you need to show that the world how you've solved that problem and, and that problem has to be on the same scale that your target clients need have you got the capacity to deliver at that scale for example if they need a hundred new clients a month but a company is demonstrating that it can bring five new clients a month well they aren't working at the level that this client needs but 
if that company showed they were they, they were bringing in 150 new clients a month for other similar clients, then that provides that credibility and they'll attract the new client. Likewise, in our case, we were targeting the, the largest companies in the area. If we'd shown that we were renovating a single hotel room, then our target clients wouldn't have been interested. They needed us to have the capability and manpower to renovate the biggest hotel in the area. So that's what we showed them. And later on, we became known as a contractor that could deliver the largest projects and our competitors would actually direct their, their larger projects to us because they didn't have the manpower to take it on themselves. The third step, is you have to demonstrate you can deliver the outcome your target clients are looking for. And this kind of blends into the second step. The second step is about showing you've got the capacity to deliver. And the third is about showing you can deliver the end result. And you do that by showing you've delivered it for other clients the same. So you could do this by, by showing the process you go through to, to get them that end result. And in your case, that can be things like case studies where you show the end result. It, it, it might be videos or photos with your client as you go through that problem solving exercise. So that's how you, you can use a Peacock strategy to create contract in business.